Hey everybody, it's your friendly beekeeper Thorns Wrath. I'm gonna do my second bee inspection. Take a look. These guys are really active right now. Um, it's the middle of the day. A lot of them are out getting pollen. This is my second bee inspection and it's day 44. So we're gonna take off to the Nico case show here real soon. And I decided we have to get this inspection done um, before we head out because uh, the 44th day seems like a good day to me. Um, we're going to try to go pretty quickly here. I got my hive tools and we're just going to really film this to take a look at it and um, I'm getting some really great excellent feedback on um, YouTube so with this film it might help out a little bit more. We can take a look at it and uh, see, see what the combs uh, look like. Alright so let's just remove this real quick. couple of bees right here. While we left for New York, uh, we were gone 12 days and the brood was really looking nice and healthy so I assumed that they hatched. There's a new generation of bees in here. I remember the last time we left off we built this new house for them. Now we're going to find out how many of those empty frames that we put in there, how far along on the new frames are they. We almost feel like these guys are ready to swarm, and we're not too sure what's going on. Okay, guys, just calm down. I'm just going to take this off, okay? It's all right. There you go. Now, I might very well get stung on this. Whoa, there goes the quarter. Take a look at these guys. I don't know, you know, I might get stung. And I'm a little nervous, but... Not really, because I remember my bees love me. And here's what I've decided, folks. I'm going to go ahead and trust that they're genetically predisposed to be gentle. So we're going to find out. Yeah, this top one, you can tell. If you come over here, Shasta, and kind of look through the slits, um, you can see the top one. They have a, they've been working hard on it. This is going to be uh, intense. I'm going to remove this one here. Oh my god, it's How many so minutes full. are we into the video? Two and a half. Okay. I'm going to put this down on some blocks that I set up. So maybe we should take the frames out of that first and just start examining them so that they can get used to on the bottom all the exposure. I think she's come up with a fine suggestion. So let's do that. We'll start with this frame over here. shouldn't have too much on it. Well, they're starting something. And there's a tiny bit of comb. See, they're just drawing out a tiny bit of comb. Now, we should lean it somewhere to This one is so little. Something. Yeah, we're going to lean it out of the sun over on the shady hat side of the hive. Do you want me to move that grass? No, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, they're doing good. I mean, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, we'll have to get one of those hangers for a frame. This one has a lot more comb on it. One of the things we're trying to find out, folks, is are they building, are they having any more queens? And there's these things called, uh, what are they called, hon? Swarm cells? The swarm cells which would probably be maybe in the bottom hive. But at the bottom of each frame, if these aren't even developed enough to have those. It's, so th this is just comb being drawn out it's here. It's beautiful too. Look but it that. is pretty nice. Hey, come over on this side so we can get the sun on it. Ready? So I don't remember which side it was facing, but I don't think it hurts to turn them around. Looks like they're doing a crazy comb on that one. I think sometimes the beekeepers will turn them around to better arrange the way the combs are being built. So let's take a look at this guy. This is where I might start needing my hive tool. There's some 
honey on this one. And it's harder to, okay, this one is heavy, which is why I want to be extra careful. Now, this doesn't look like there's any swarm cells because there's no at bird that. at all, but look at how, look at those big pieces. I wonder if we're supposed to clip things like that off later on. Yeah, there's that one sticking out with all of them on top of it. Well, for now. That looks beautiful in the middle and all flat, but just over If here. one of these, you know, decides to sting me, I'm just going to have to try to not drop the frame, so I'm going to have to just take the pain, I guess. They don't seem too interested in stinging you. No, they don't, and um, I don't really think, if I do, if I stumble or fumble, mm. I, I could get stung if I squish one or whatever. All right. Oh, wow, I think I see a really big one that could maybe be the queen on Where? the edge there. Maybe not, but it's really bigger than the others. Mm. It's do, really big. Does the camera show it? Um, yeah. It's well now it's on the bottom kind of so. Well, we're gonna put this down. We gotta remember this last one I think we're gonna put on the edge, so we're just gonna remember that here we'll eventually. Or go we could just put it on that edge. And yeah. Move them all over and then it might be a bit less disruptive. True enough. I'm moving them all back. Okay, little guys, now if that one was heavy, this one must be really something. Oh, now that little guy's looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, look, just taking a look here. Wow. You have sun on that? I do. Should we chip that stuff off the bottom? I don't see what you're seeing, so. Right here. It's possible we should, um, but don't, don't, uh, no, no, it's not going to be that easy, and there's too many bees there right now. Um, what does it look like on that side? Um, well, you'd have to turn it around and look at it yourself. Look at that. Wow. Hey, there's a big one. You see that big bee? Capped honey on it. See the big bee right there? Where my thumb's pointing? Um... It's sitting right in the middle of yeah, all the other bees. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Is that the queen? That could be the queen. Anyway, uh, if you guys see that on YouTube, I don't know if that's the queen. There's clearly one bigger than yeah, all the rest. Big, I'm not sure if that's a drone amidst a bunch of females or if that's the queen herself. But one of the things I'm determining from this inspection, and I don't see any signs of American fowl brood, I see all kinds of signs of a great colony just working hard. Everything is looking good and I've only looked at three frames. I have 16 frames to go. Okay, you guys check that side and I'll check this side. Well, down here looks kind of weird. That doesn't look like... Everything looks great on this side. Um. Oh, I see swarm cells. I see swarm cells, right? Possibly, like, see that right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. That might be a swarm cell. Huh, it's interesting. Okay, this is the fourth frame in from the west. Just remember that. That should probably be broken off down there. Well, it's, I don't know. This might be where we get stung. Um, they're going crazy in the front of the hive right now. And by the way, we don't even have the smoker set up. But I don't think I'm too worried about them. But the ones out front, they are going crazy. They're acting a little more frantic. I think once I start, if we break that off, if you want to gently do it, Shasta, I don't, I don't have three hands. Okay. So. Well, you could set it down on here on the edge and kind of lean it back and do it. Well, what I could do is go like this. But if you want me to do it. Hold on. I know what I'll do. I'll look down make sure that I put this wood where there's no bees. If you hold this end, this top. Okay. Give me the hive tool. Yeah. Hold that. Okay. Got it. How many minutes into the video are we? 9.48. So let's well, try 